big election result in Australia. Anthony Albanese, uh, the new Prime Minister, is going to be sworn in tomorrow. A big, big change after uh, years of Scott Morrison being the Prime Minister. Let's speak to Natalie Bennett, a Green Party peer and a former leader of the Green Party. Natalie, you, you are Australian. Tell us, uh, how significant is this result and, and what will it mean for Australia? Well, I think this is a very significant result for Australia. I mean, just to hear the word green slide in the context of Australia and particularly Queensland. And, you know, I left Australia more than 20 years ago and Queensland is not the kind of area you would have picked um, as a place where Greens would be looking, you know, have already definitely won one seat and could win two more. But you know, what's more than that? Of course, this is great. We're going to see a Labor uh, Prime Minister in Australia. But what we're, all the commentators are saying is this is really a swing away from all of the, the, the two largest parties. There's extreme dissatisfaction with the current state of our politics. And, you know, when you look at the very clear comparisons between the UK uh, and Australia, um, the kind of politics that really the, the Conservative Party in Australia has utterly been hollowed out uh, on issues of the failures to tackle the climate emergency, on gender issues, on corruption issues. Uh, they've essentially lost a whole swathe of blue ribbon seats um, with people campaigning explicitly on those issues. You've got to look at Britain and say, gosh, you can definitely see the parallels. What is Anthony Albanese going to do differently when it comes to the uh, to climate change? How does his stance differ from, from Scott Morrison? What does that mean? Well, I think um, what we know is uh, the, the Labour went into the election and there was a lot of dissatisfaction with this, with policies that were only a little bit better uh, and nothing like what was needed in terms of action on the climate emergency. But we don't at the current situation know, um, it'll probably take a couple of days to be fully clear, whether Labour has a majority or whether they're going to have to govern with the Greens or with um, perhaps the, the uh, climate change independence known as the Teals um, or some combination of those. So it's going to be possible, not only will Australia stop being the extreme climate climate criminal that it has been under nine years of conservative rule uh, but almost certainly they're going to have to go further than Labor did in the election uh, and you know Australia has a very very long way to go uh, we can remember you know uh, Scott Morrison was famous for holding up a, a lump of coal in Parliament and saying you know he loved coal Australia is really going to move away from that and not before time. If I could just ask you finally on a slightly different topic, we're talking from two about protests, Priti Patel clamping down again on peaceful protests like Extinction Rebellion, you've been obviously supported of. What's your response to that? Because she says, look, that people are being selfish, they shouldn't have the right to disrupt other people's lives. And it, of course, you may feel slightly differently. Uh, very much so. I mean, the right to protest is an absolutely central part of our democracy. And if you look at what happened in, you know, as a member of the House of Lords, uh, the government was defeated on the last police bill, uh, mostly measures against protest, 14 times in one evening, a record amount of time. Lots of people like former uh, Supreme Court judges getting up and saying what the government's proposing is unacceptable. The House of Lords threw that out. The government is now bringing it back again. When you look at it with the government taking over the Electoral Commission, bringing in voter suppression through voter ID. You know, we have an extreme attack. The UK is not a democracy now. Boris Johnson has 100% of the power with 44% of the votes. Uh, we're seeing a real attempt to take over and take away what little democracy we have and the right to protest is crucial to that democratic decision making. You really think Britain is not a democracy now, Natalie? Uh, no. Um, the House of Lords, which I'm a member of, the unelected House of Lords, which, as you know, is a pretty strange situation, but it's actually more representative of uh, the people uh, because the crossbenchers, the non-party people, have the balance of power, which reflects the views of the people. Only 44% of people voted for Boris Johnson in 2019, but he got 100% of the power in the lower house. Um, I don't think that fits anyone's definition of what could reasonably be called a democracy. Okay, good to speak to you. Natalie Bennett there, a former leader of the Green Party and Green Party uh, peer.